Hello, Splashers! My name is Pablo, and I'm here with your weekly rewind as we head into the seventh week of Springboard Math Challenge. We're nearing the end of the competition, and things are heating up. Let's take a look at the numbers. We crunched some numbers and found out that till now, over 49 million math problems have been solved during the Springboard Math Challenge, and the participating students have earned a total of 47 billion points. That's mind-blowing. The leaderboard changes quicker than the ticker at the stock market. Let's take a look at who's leading in North America. We have Ann Salway, whose class has been in the number one spot since the beginning. Brian Wyclaw's class has been steadily catching up. Gavin Mandock's class from Ontario is doing a fabulous job. Closely followed by Janet Mazariwa's class of superstars. We've been tracking classes who have been consistently performing well. And this week, they win the Rising Stars Award. From the UK, the award goes to Sarah Di Tommaso's class, Mrs. Fitch's class, and Allison Perry's class. Congratulations! The list of Rising Stars from North America is longer. And as you can see, all these students and teachers have worked hard as a team which is exactly what Springboard is all about. Well done, all of you. That's all for the numbers I have for this week, but there's someone I would like you to meet. Why did the clock go to the principal's office? Because it was talking too much. What is the world's tallest building? The library because it has the most stories. <laughs> what is a pirate's favorite subject? Art. <laughs> well, that's it for this week. We'll be back next week with updates about Springboard. Till then, tag us in your Springboard moments to get featured in our videos. And don't forget, share this video with your friends and other teachers. Till then, Pretend you're in a swimming pool and keep splashing.